In this lesson, we want to take a closer look at different data types that we have in Expresso. Uh, for that, I created some objects, just a cube, a hypernerbs, a light, and a text object, dragged them in on my editor, and created some output ports with uh, different types of data. And now we want to take a closer look at them. If you, uh, first of all, we should check this information bar down here. So if you hover with your mouse over an output port, the bar will tell you what kind of data is coming out of the node. So let's just check them all. We have a vector, a matrix, a real, an integer, another real, a string, time, and a bool. So to read out what what number of what value is coming out of this ports, we need a node. So we will just type in result. You will also find this node if you navigate here through Expresso, General, and down here is the result node. But we will use this uh, finder function here. So we have the result node. The result node um, gives us the possibility to change the data type which he should show. So first of all, we have the vector. So we take the result node and set it to vector. And then we can just plug it in. And the result node says us, okay, the position vector of our cube is zero, zero, zero. Good. Let's unplug that and check the second one, the matrix. So we'll set the result node to matrix. Connect those two. And we have the result of the global matrix of our cube, which you see down here. We have uh, two more lessons. Uh, in one lesson I will explain in depth what a vector is and in the other one we will talk about the matrix and what you can do with it. So uh, don't mind if you now don't understand what exactly this means. We will talk about this one later. So, rotation heading axis. This port says, okay, hey, I'm a real number, a real, so we'll set our result node to real and connect this one. And we see 6.283. And if I take my cube and rotate it in the axis, you will see that the number changes. But that's somehow strange, as you see, because if I set my heading to 180 degrees, it says 3.142, so th that's strange. Why doesn't it say, okay, here, 180 degrees, you wanted to know the rotation of your heading axis? No, it says 3.142. So I'm not an expert at mathematics, but I can try to explain it with my designer words. Um, cinema don't use degrees internally to calculate rotations. It uses um, radians. And this number, 3.142 for 180 degrees, is actually uh, the number pi. And if you set it to 360, which is one rotation, it's 2 times pi. So that's just, just that you know cinema uses internally radians and not degrees. So this is why we see down here 6.283 and not 360 degrees. Next one is integer. The difference between an integer and a real is that a real number are the normal numbers like 1, 2, 3, but also 1.5 or 3.2 or 9.8. An integer is always a whole number, so only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the main difference between them. So if we check out our hypernerbs object we have done here, we have the subdivision level. And a subdivision in a hypernerbs can never be like 3.5 or 2.5. So if I try to type it in, 2.5, it snaps back to 2 because you can only have whole numbers in the subdiv subdivision level of a hypernerbs. So if we now set our result node to integer, connect that, you will see 2 because the subdivision editor level is set to 2. If I change it to 5, it will also change to 5. By the way, this tiny icon here shows us that another node is reading out this value. If you have this square with a um, with a tiny arrow pointing to the right side of the square, that means another node is reading out this value. So 
So the next one is our, is our light. Um, we have the intensity. And as we all know, the intensity is something between 0 and 100% or also above. Um, but if we uh, take a look at our data type, it says real. So why doesn't it say it's percent? It's a real. Because internally, we don't have percent. We only have values between 0 and 1. So if we just plug that one in and change the intensity of our light. Oh, we have also, of course, to set our result node from integer to real. So our light is at 67% and the result says, okay, oh, uh, and the result says 0 0.67. If I set it to 100, it says one. And if I set it to zero, it says zero. So just that you know, internally percent are values between zero and one. Text, our text object says string. So the data type is string. A string is just a word. Um, so if we check our text object, it says hello. If we set our result node also to string, plug that one in we see hello. So that just gives us the text from our text node. If we change it here, hello there, it also changes uh, the result of this node. Next one is time. Time in Cinema 4D is always in seconds. So if we change the result to time, plug that one in and hit play, you see nothing changes, but as soon as I hit play stop, uh, I hit stop, it says 2.733, which means 2.733 seconds. I have 30 frames per second and I'm on frame 82, so that's exactly the right value. Um, to see the change of the value in real time, you just go and calculate and animation refresh. If we now rewind, hit play again you see that the value changes in real time and counts our, the seconds of our timeline. If we now change the result node from time to real, for example, it also works because this is also a real number. If we change it to integer, it will cut off the, the number and will only say 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is the main difference. And our last data type is bool. A bool is actually just a switch, like on, off, one or zero. So yeah, basically it's on, off, like a like a like a normal switch. And uh, I check the hypernerbs object and ask the node, is it enabled or not? So if we set our result node to bool and connect those two, it says false because my hypernerbs is right now not enabled. If I enable it, it says true. So this is actually a, a, the data type bool. It just uh, tells you if something is activated or not, or if it's on or not, just bool. Okay, so in this lesson, you've learned what kind of data we have in Cinema 4D. There are a few more, but those are the most important ones that we will use in the next lessons. And especially in the next lesson, we will take a close look at vectors, what a vector is, because uh, those are, I would say, the most important types of um, data in Cinema 4D. And uh, you will learn how they work and how we can do stuff with it.